That's crazy. ¿Ustedes han visto esto otras veces? Sí. <laughs> ¿Eh? ah. ¿Y por cuánto tiempo dura la huelga? No sabe. Ah, qué funny here. Shit. No hay no, no aire, ¿ah? ¿eh? Caliente. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go. I don't have anywhere to go. I'm gonna stick with these guys, the bus drivers. I'm gonna crash wherever they go, and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here tomorrow. There's a, a bus at what eight o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna bail. I don't care if it's hot. I'm leaving. Look at this fire, man. It's killer. There's like big blocks and stuff. Oh my god, this is fucking crazy. Blow your tires up. Oh shit, there's like stuff burning everywhere. Look at the cops over there. Yeah, they're like, we have to walk through here. Look, there's another one up ahead there. There's like one after another, these damn fires. Fucking shit, man, what a job. Damn. <laughs> these guys have a crazy job, man. <clears throat> Look at all, and there's a lot of people on the sides too. And then you can see and there's crowds on the side. They're watching us, but <clears throat> there are also people with guns and stuff. Look at these, look at the roads, there's like concrete, look at this stuff. They're putting all these barricades. This shit, man. Oh. Oh my God, look at this, there's another fire over here. So all these cops are moving the fire so they can come start blasting them. Blast the bus. <clears throat> look at this, this is crazy. Oh my god, look at this, man. These guys have to run off. Look, oh, that guy has a pistol now. He's pointing at somebody. They have to go. Oh, shit. Look at all that. It's like wood, big pieces of concrete. They had a big earthquake here, so there's a lot of rubble everywhere. So they put rubble out. And no, man, you got, they got to get out and clear this. I feel like getting out to help, but I think that would be a bad idea. These guys are local, so. No, so we're just stuck here, man. We're sitting ducks. There's like a bunch of people around us. The window's broken here in the front now. It was, it was broken before. There's people throwing stuff. We're in this bus and it's hot. There's no windows. Okay, now we ran into some other. Oh, okay. Okay, now there's some other cops. Oh, eso son otro, militar o algo. Okay. Oh, como policía. Okay. They said, forget about doing any kind of light sightseeing. They said, there's not going to be none of that. They're doing this all over the, the place, apparently. So all I see is like smoke everywhere and like shit piled on the roads, big piles of rubble. And like all these people outside just looking at the, the bus. You don't know what their deal is. They look kind of suspicious. <clears throat> there's a lot of smoke, but there's even stuff burning on the sides. So it's hard to see, and then there's all these people out there. Damn. Yeah, it's definitely like a like a war zone, and there's like a lot of trash everywhere. There's shit burning. Look, there's like fires everywhere. Es lejos para donde vamos? Cercas, okay. <clears throat> Big piles of, of garbage, rubble. I mean, even though I'm not gonna get to go sightseeing, it was still cool, it's still interesting to see this stuff. This guy's pointing his gun at the civilians, multiple more. Look at the cops, they have the guns pointed at people. They were like yelling stuff out at him, like back off or something, I don't know. Look at that, 
Shit, all that stuff in the road. Yeah. Hmm? Boy, this guy's pointing pistols at people. Damn. It's really fucked up. It sucks for the people that live here to have to go through this shit. Can't even go on a date or something. Oh, here's the ocean. That's nice. Aquí está la playa, huh? Bonita la playa. Vista. Burnt cars and stuff all over right here by the beach. <clears throat> Bunch of broken down cars and trash. A lot of people walking around. Okay, I could actually hear gunshots now. They're actually shooting. Angel, puedes subir esa cosa negra, Javi? Para mirar para afuera? Cool, gracias. You can see the furniture there in the road. See the furniture? And blocks? And the cops ran off. They were shooting at somebody. I don't know. I heard gunshots. They ran out. There's two. Damn, this is crazy shit. The other guys ran off. Down the road, they were shooting at somebody. This guy and that guy, they were shooting somebody. What the hell? Alguien está pegando el bus? Oh, the cop. There's people throwing shit at the bus, too. Damn, the road is like. Oh, shit! The fuck is that? <laughs> oh, damn. Look at the road down there, it's all burning. They're throwing shit at the bus, like rocks and stuff. Fuck. Look at the road up there, it's fires. Shit's burning like crazy. Damn. This is crazy. Damn, that's scary, man. Those guys are fucking hardcore. Sac le bleu. He's driving, he's pointing the gun at people. See that? These guys are messing around. They're shooting too. They're actually shooting. Damn, that is some crazy shit. Got big old fire. Burning car or something, or what the fuck is that? This is Haiti, man, on the, on the way to Camp Haitian. This is supposed to be the mellow part of Haiti. <laughs> I didn't even go to Port-au-Prince. They told me that that would for sure get like kidnapped or something over there. Look, they're trying to get through. We can't. There's this big fire in the road. Like massive. So. Fuck, man, look at this shit. This guy's gonna just burn through or what? Look at all that. Oh my god, look at all those blocks, man. Fuck. He's moving all these big concrete blocks and there's people out there with guns. Like, they could just blow you away while you're doing that. Shit. Oh, this is good. There's locals helping out. So we're still trying to get through... The maze here of uh, stuff people set up, roadblocks. We're by by the beach, actually. There's the ocean over there. And I'm with uh, three staff for the bus. And there's two locals with me. And everybody else bailed. They didn't want to go on the bus. They were scared of the bus being shot up. <clears throat> They'd rather go walking in the dark, so they all left walking. So, this looks like a total breakdown. There's no electricity here. Um, I don't know, it's crazy. Roads are all jacked up, there's trash everywhere. I mean, at least they have some, some cops. That's good. And they said they haven't had a president here for a while, so I don't know how the political situation is here it's obviously pretty unstable what the hell I don't care ¿Qué es eso? Dime. there's a lot of loud noises because there's like people throwing stuff at the bus
¿Qué te decían? ¿Qué te decían? ¿Qué te decían? Hablando con ella, una, una cosa que me pasaba ahí en el presentador. Oh. So there's lights over here. Aquí hay, hay luces acá. Casi tiene electricidad, ¿eh? the president um, she's talking about the, for the guys she's gonna make more money for five, 500 20 good uh -huh. And then what that the people say so crazy because the first time the guy she's like for um, 250 good, what that she so she's talking crazy, oh. you know. Okay. So the cops got us into this yard over here. So we're going to chill and we don't know when the buses will resume. They said they doubt tomorrow because we jacked up the bus. We were off-roading. So that's all full of dirt. We broke the AC system, so it's super hot in there. And then uh, people were throwing all kinds of shit at the bus. It broke the windows and stuff. So um, I, they said they don't know. They said last week something like this happened. They couldn't travel for a whole week. So hopefully I don't get stuck for a whole week because I got a bail on Thursday. Today's Monday. I need a, I have a flight to catch back to LA on Thursday. So... I'm going to try to bail either Tuesday or Wednesday. Wednesday would be perfect. That way I can still go with my buddy here. He says we can look around. He said we're good, right? We can still look around tomorrow? He says uh, he's guaranteed I'm safe, right? <laughs> Very good. So we'll still get to go sightseeing tomorrow, and then we'll, we'll bail on Wednesday. So if you, if you notice, all the streets are dark. There's no electricity here. They tell me that they... They don't have a president here in Haiti right now. So they knocked out the electrical grid. So, ¿desde cuándo no tienen presidente? Sí. They haven't had a president for all. ¿Hace cuánto no tienen electricidad? Fuck. ¿Hace mucho que no tienen? No, ¿Sin electricidad también? Oh, look at that block. That's huge. Yeah. You know, just to lock all the roads and everything it takes a lot of work these blocks are massive there's a lot of them there's a lot of roadblocks so there's a lot of people walking around outside there's no electricity apparently they haven't had electricity for a while i mean that really sucks so i don't i don't know how people como cargan sus teléfonos si no hay electricidad oh panales Ah, okay. They use pa solar panels to charge cell phones. Man, there's a lot of people out there, and they're just sitting there bored. I mean, they don't have electricity, so they're not watching TV or listening to the radio. They're just watching the cars go by. There's a lot of stuff burning. Look at all that trash over there. It's all burning. ¿Qué ciudad es esta? Oh, okay. I don't know where we are, but we didn't make it to Cap Haitian. ¿A cuánto nos falta pegar a Cap Haitian? A Cap Haitian es como media hora de aquí. Cap Haitian es como media hora de aquí. Ah, okay. Oh, well, I'm not sure. We're not sure where we are, but we're not going anywhere else. We're we're going somewhere. I don't know. ¿Dónde nos van a llevar la estación de buses? 
Oh, okay. Now this road is all dirt, rocks, and like trash, and people walking on wheelbarrows. I don't know what they're moving, but there's people selling food there, making bananas and stuff. It's all, uh, looks like this road here is like flooded. This road looks really bad. It's flooded. Massive potholes, trash. So this is my first night in Haiti. <clears throat> it didn't go quite as I planned, but it worked out just fine. I crossed the border from Santo Domingo and I was only, uh, I don't know if I was only a foreigner, but I was only a Caucasian person on the bus and we got kidnapped. There's like these gangs everywhere. They, I tried to go to Port-au-Prince and they said, no way, they're kidnapping everybody. They're stopping all the buses and all the beaches are blocked off. They're kidnapping and extorting and robbing and whatever. So I came to Cap Haitian, the north of Haiti. It's supposed to be a lot better. Um, man, as soon as we crossed the border, there was like all these guys in the street with like, like in the movies, they had like handkerchiefs for their face and they had like shotguns and stuff. And they were pulling over the cars and the bus driver I was with, he just took off. He took off through a dirt road in a big, like big bus, you know, the big, tourist buses and he was like off-roading and everybody was like yelling so it was like like moving all over and he was hitting all these trees and I mean it was pretty awesome but I was like damn okay so we drove for about a half an hour to escape, escape like the gangs and then like we came out some other side and then they caught up to us and then they came up to the guy and they were pointing guns and they were talking in you know in Creole or Haitian which is like a mix of French and I don't know what else. And they like kidnapped us. They told us that, uh, you know, they, they pulled us off the road and they pulled us into this, this gas station. And then they put up all these like uh, metal chains around the bus. We couldn't like drive off. And then uh, we broke the AC system. We we're off-roading. So it started getting super hot in there. And I wanted to get off. They told me not to. So they told me to kidnap me. So they told me to go lay in the back in the in the seats and just lay there, stay quiet. So I, I just lay down there. There was all this yelling and like guys, you know, doing who knows what. And then uh, the people on the bus, the Haitians, they started getting pissed. They started snapping. So they said, okay, we're gonna um, bail, I guess, or whatever. They started filing out of the bus. And then the bus driver who was like Dominican, before everybody left, he took money from everybody. He asked everybody to do like a collection so we could pay the the bandits and see if they let us go. So I pitched in, we all pitched in, we gave them the money. They took the money and then they said they wanted another $600 to let us go. So we didn't have, well, they didn't have that much. And I didn't really want to pay that much because they said that we're going to keep getting stopped every other corner. So they just started calling the police and calling the, the tour company and luckily everybody left they, they just didn't want to wait so we were just sitting there for hours and hours and i guess the bus driver talked to the guys the bus driver talked to the guys and they told me it was cool they weren't going to bother me or anything so they let me off the bus and i could walk around outside it was super hot and we just got stuck there like for hours like i don't know five hours or something we're stuck here and finally like these uh they look like SWAT team, like these military guys or their police people with these big rifles showed up and they gave us like an escort to the bus station. Apparently we were real close, we were only like two or three miles away. So you'll see the videos of them driving us through town. There's like a, a nationwide protest right now. They're protesting gas prices. It's funny, this is happening in Panama, Colombia, a lot of countries in the world and the governments have no control over it. It has everything to do with Russia. Russia is responsible for this and their war in Ukraine, but they're blaming the government. So uh, they gave us a police escort. 
people were throwing rocks at the bus and they were coming out with guns. So the police were shooting. I don't know if they were shooting at the people or shooting in the air, but you can see the videos. It was pretty scary. They were leading us through the street. There was burning stuff everywhere, big blocks. And some of the cops had to get off and move these big cement blocks while other guys were like shooting at people or covering them. It's like crazy. And then there was only like five of us left on the bus out of like 50. And um, three of them were employees, and then me, and then this Haitian dude. So they told us to lay on the floor because they were, they wanted to get shot because they were gonna shoot at the bus. So I made some videos of that, but we got to the compound and my tour guy, luckily Augustine was there waiting for me. He's been waiting for me since two in the afternoon. It's like nine o'clock now, um, which is cool. So he took me and I found this hotel. The hotel I booked, through booking.com or hotels.com. They took my payment and it's been closed for a year. <laughs> we went to the place and it's gone. It's actually been demolished. So I don't know what the hell, I gotta figure it out when I get back, but I don't even know how they're still on the internet there. It's demolished, it doesn't exist anymore. So I'm lucky I found this hotel here for $50 as a generator. There's no electricity anywhere. Apparently they haven't had a president here or a working government in, in Haiti for a long time. I don't know how long, that's what the people are telling me. And the rebels, the gangs, they just keep extorting everybody. So they blew up the power stations. So there's no power here. It's crazy, this place has a, a generator. So I have electricity and they actually have Wi-Fi. So this is really sweet. Nobody has, it's like a big time luxury here. So I was like, uh, you know, driving around and it's dark, like so dark, that you can put your hand in front of your face, you won't even be able to see it, it's how dark it is here. It's super dark. So it's dark and there's like crowds of people everywhere standing in the dark. I don't even know what they're doing, but some of them are selling food, they're just doing all this stuff. There's like the people adapted to living in the dark. There's big piles of rubble everywhere, trash, there's like, it's just crazy. And the guy that drove me here, my, my guy, Augustine, he said the gas is like $30 a gallon here. So, and you have to wait all day to buy gas. There's basically there's fuel shortages and it's super expensive. So I guess he's gonna probably charge me an arm and leg to get me out of here. Cause they're telling me that I can't get a bus out of here for a week. They're gonna shut the buses down now. So I'm trapped. So last week the buses got trapped here for a week and they couldn't leave. Um, I have a flight out of Dominican Republic like 10 hours from here from Santo Domingo in like two days. I leave on Thursday. It's Monday right now. So three days. So I need to get back. I'm not going to pay a thousand for that ticket. So I'm going to pay someone to take me on a motorcycle to the border and then I'll walk across the border and I'll catch a bus over there or something on Wednesday. Um, yeah, I, I got to get out of here, man. This is like crazy. But the I'm already here and the guy says it. The guy says he guarantees I won't get kidnapped. So I'm gonna take his word for it. I'm gonna go with him in the morning. He's gonna take me on a tour around um, around Port, wherever the hell I am, where am I at? Uh, Cape Haitian, Cape Haitian. But yeah, it, it's crazy here. I've been to like North Korea, the border. I've been to Ethiopia. I've been to all Central America, a bunch of African countries, Myanmar, India. Anyway, I've been to some crazy places this place is way crazier than anywhere I've been to there's just so much trash everywhere and so many people it's just crazy it's super hot um, yeah it's hot here man I don't have any AC I just have a fan but I don't care as long as electricity I'm good